All right, in this video, we're gonna start with doing a bond rotation exercise. All right, so we're gonna start with this molecule here on the left, and we're gonna rotate, see carbon two? We're gonna rotate carbon two along the C2 to C3 axis. So we're gonna rotate it at 120 degrees. So I'd like you to try to do this, press pause, try and do it yourself, and then when you're ready, press play. All right, so let's look at carbon two. Carbon two, we're gonna rotate this 120 degrees along the C2 to C3 axis. And if you kind of remember the analogy that we drew between doing bond rotations and steering wheels, so you can kind of imagine this as the three parts of your steering wheel and imagine that, that this is your, um, the axis of your steering wheel, just kind of like you'd look at a, like I said, looking at a steering wheel like this. Okay, actually I'm not quite right here. Um, so more like that, okay. So what you're gonna do is you, just like you rotate a steering wheel 120 degrees, we're gonna rotate our, uh, our, our carbon 220 degrees. So again, thinking of it like a steering wheel, maybe we can um, put the CH3 up here and put the H down here and put the OH here. Now, when we rotate this 120 degrees, we would get what? Well, we'd get, just redrawing everything here, we would still have the same pattern. So this would be up, this would be to the right, and this would be to the left. However, we've moved everything 120 degrees. And let's do it clockwise. So clockwise. So that would put our CH3 here, our OH here, and, um, oh, I'm sorry, we put that puts our H here and our OH up here, okay. And if we had to relate this back to our um, actual molecule, remember that this part of our steering wheel is the wedge. So this part here was the OH, this was, was the OH and now it's the H, it's the wedge. This part here was the dash which was an H and now it's a CH3. And this part that was a straight line was a CH3 and now it's an OH. So we can redraw our molecule like this. So the OH is now a straight line. Actually, let's use the color here. So the OH is a straight line. The methyl group is now gonna be a dash. It's gonna be in the back. The OH is up here and our H is going to be a witch. Okay. All right, so that is doing the 120 bond rotation degree bond rotation clockwise. So 120 degrees clockwise. Now what if we did it counterclockwise? So if we rotated it instead, if we did it 120 degrees counterclockwise, 120 degrees counterclockwise, well, what would that give us? So let's just redraw everything here. Um, and so we'd have our CH3, instead of going to the right, would go to the left. So we'd have our CH3 would be here. And then that would bring our OH over here. So our OH would be here. And that would put our H at the top. Okay, so again, having to redraw all of this in our dash wedge formation. This CH3 is on the left here, which is where our OH, which was a wedge. So this CH3 is now gonna be a wedge. The OH is where the H was, and that makes it a dash. So it's gonna be a dash. And the H is where the CH3 was, so it is going to be, um, oh, I'm sorry, this is an OH. Um, the OH is gonna be where the H was, so it's a dash. And the H is where the CH3 was, so that is a straight line. So if we did it 120 degrees counterclockwise, counterclockwise, you should get this. So CH3 is a wedge, and then we have our OH, which is gonna be a dash. And then our H is going to be a uh, flat straight line.
Okay, so that is doing bond rotation for carbon two clockwise or counterclockwise 120 degrees.